There are times during a Zoom meeting when you'd like to highlight to bring attention to a speaker or speakers and hide the rest of the videos, not have people distracted by each other. You might be teaching or presenting, giving a lecture. Maybe there's a panel of speakers on or you're interviewing somebody else and you want attention on those speakers. You want to turn off the video for the rest of the participants. That's something that you can do using the Zoom Focus feature along with the Zoom Spotlight feature. And we're going to look at that in this video. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you use Zoom and technology to connect online. Let's start by talking about the general idea behind the Zoom Focus Mode. When you turn on Zoom Focus Mode, as a host, you will still be able to see everybody's videos. Participants will only be able to see their own video and the videos of any co-hosts and the host. Any other participants in the event, in the Zoom meeting, will show up as a black square with their name, not even with their profile picture, just the name. Participants will be able to see when any of the other participants share a reaction, wave their hand, raise their hand. They'll be able to hear someone if they're unmuted but they aren't going to be able to see the video and be distracted by other participants in the call. Now we're going to combine that feature with Zoom Spotlight, which lets a host pick which video or videos are going to be shown in the speaker position when you're in the speaker view, so that you can bring focus on the people you want people to see and turn off the rest of the videos. So let's go through setting that up and doing this step by step. The first thing to do to use Zoom Focus Mode is to go into the browser, into your Zoom settings in the browser, into the In Meeting Advanced Settings section, and turn on Focus Mode. Once you do that, Focus Mode will be available to you in the More menu at the bottom of the screen. Here you can say, see how Start Focus Mode is on. Right now I have three participants and myself as the host in this Zoom call. I'm in the gallery view as opposed to the, the screen speaker view right here. So to go back to the gallery view, you can see I can see everybody. When I turn on focus mode, start focus mode, now I've been spotlighted so that everybody can see me. I'm like in speaker view now. I can still see everybody across the top of my screen. What a participant would see, and I'll show you this, let's look at what Hugh would see. Hugh would see me because I'm the host, so my video would be visible. He would also see their own camera, what's being shown on their camera as long as they have that turned on. And if I had a co-host or co-host, they would see the video for the co-host. For each of the other participants, they just see a black screen with their name. They would see if they raised their hands. They could hear if they were unmuted and talking. And that would put their focus on me. You can really see the difference between what a host or a co-host would see with everybody's video turned on in focus mode versus what Hugh as a participant sees when I put Hugh's screen into gallery view. If you as the host want to be the focus of everyone's attention, you want everybody else to not be looking at each other but only at you, you can turn on focus mode and now everybody can see you. They can see their own cameras, they can't see anybody else on camera. This was really especially created by Zoom to help teachers so that students weren't um, distracting each other. But it can be really helpful for us when we're giving webinars or lectures or presentations to do this. And then once we're done, we can turn off focus modes, same place in this menu, stop focus mode. And now once that's removed, and we'll see up here, it's gonna go away, this little symbol will go in away in a moment. I can remove the spotlight, put us back in gallery view. And now I can go ahead and do some more interactive things in my Zoom call. Maybe now that I've done my webinar, and give my done my presentation, I want to do some breakout rooms. It's all available to me. Let's look at what you want to do if you want to have somebody else be the speaker. So let's go back to focus mode. I want to have 
say I'm going to have Bob wants to do a presentation. And so I'm going to spotlight Bob, add him to the spotlight. And now two of us are talking. So maybe I'm interviewing Bob. Hugh and Jerry can see Bob and they'll see me. They see their own videos, but they don't see each other's video. Now, if I want Bob to be talking without me, all I do is unspotlight myself, remove spotlight, and now Bob is the focus. I'm still the host. I can still see everybody's videos. So let's take a look at what Hugh is seeing. Hugh is seeing Bob in the speaker view and they see their own video. They can see my video. They can't see other participants, Jerry being an example of that. If I don't want people to be able to see me while I'm the host, because I really want to make sure they're looking at Bob, I could also just stop my own video. And now I'm not there either. If Bob's done talking and I'm ready to introduce the next person or take over and say some things myself, I can replace Spotlight. And now I am here and Bob is off. You can also have up to nine people spotlighted. So say you have a panel. You might be doing an online conference or summit and you have a panel of people talking. You can spotlight them all. They will be where people can watch and the participants' videos will be turned off other than their own personal video. Another thing to know about focus mode is that it also changes the way that screen sharing works if it's a participant screen sharing. If you as a host are sharing your screen, everybody will see it. In this case, Bob is sharing his screen and I can see it. But if I look at Hugh's window, look at what Hugh is looking at, Hugh doesn't see Bob, what Bob is sharing with me. I can choose to share it with everybody. I can go down to the screen share options, choose shared screens can be seen by all participants. And now if I look at Hugh's screen, Hugh will be seeing this document also. So it's a way for, especially if you're doing some kind of teaching situation, for one particular student to share something with you and not everybody sees it unless you as the teacher decide that they see it. The question is now, how are you going to use Zoom focus mode and spotlighting? Are you going to use Zoom for online conferences, webinars, lectures, interviewing interesting people, teaching? What are you going to use these two modes to do?